Alright guys, so it's here, the leaked bench rocks and actually a review from the husky himself of the RTX 3090. Now hopefully this video wouldn't be as long, but always like, you know, take these bench rocks with a grain of salt, but this time not because it's fake, I mean, no, but it's just that they are not accurate enough and there are a lot of variables and information that we don't know. So yo, before we get into it, subscribe to the channel because that helps me a lot and let's reach like, I don't know, 5,000 subs, we're so close, I mean, what's happening man? And pressing that like button because that really helps me, like it really does so yeah with that out of the way uh keep in mind that the rtx 3090 would be on september 24th this is the release date or maybe the embargo lift on reviews so it's pretty close from real benchmarks and a review but as i said take them with a grain of salt because it's more of an like I, an idea of how it will be like and it will retail for around 1500 bucks but you know it will not be for 1500 and we won't find it anywhere because nvidia is so bad with stock so first benchmark is from 3d time spy at 1440p and extreme and we see that the RTX 3090 is 20% faster than the RTX 3080. But one thing to note there, um, it's a reference model RTX 3080. So we don't know the CPU paired with the uh, RTX 3090, but most likely like a 10900K because we are going to see some different numbers in a minute. So yeah, 20% that looks uh, sharp and decent, but there is a flip. The next benchmarks and an actual review is from a site or I believe a YouTube channel called Tech Lab, and it's a Chinese uh, place, <laughs> site or maybe channel. And why I think it's real because we've had multiple leaked reviews from him before that were true for example the i9 10900k the ryzen 5 3600 xt and the i5 10400 was leaked by him before and just to end the integrity thing um here's a benchmark from his with the i9 10900k at cinebench r15 compared to an actual review so with his benchmark we only see 10 percent difference overall which is like lower than what we saw like a minute before like what's going on okay remember the previous benchmark results of 3d mark uh, extreme 4k the rtx 3090 was around 10,300 points his benchmark got him 9900 points ish now he paired the rtx 3090 with an i9 10900 so i'm not saying there is a bottleneck but maybe that's why the score is lower and next up compare his rtx 3080 res results to the previous one he got 9000 points while the rtx 3080 uh, previous one got uh, an 8500 points now the previous one was like a reference model rtx 3080 so there's possibility that you know he might use an rtx 3080 with a beefy cooler or like an overclocked one you can also check the links down below in the description if there's anything i missed they are from video cards and wccf tech so this 500 points delta between the two benchmarks of the rtx 3090 and the might not affect gaming but the fact that there is a possibility that the rtx 3080 that he used was a custom model makes a big difference in gaming performance benchmarks you know so the point is that the rtx like 3090 would be for 10 to 15 percent faster than the rtx 3080 and as you saw from the benchmarks before again like check out the links in the description i'm just gonna you know show you some screenshots now with that said what do you think like in my opinion if it's actually only like 10 percent faster then there is a lot of questions that cannot be answered like for example is the rtx 3080 ti will be faster or maintain like the same performance of the rtx 3090 because it looks like the 3090 is going to replace a titan gpu it's not a gaming gpu it has 24 gigs of vram which is a lot for gaming so if it's only 10 percent faster what makes the rtx 3080 ti a useful for uh, especially that makes the rtx 3080 for 700 bucks a really good value for money gp on the high-end market which is something that we don't see a lot and also are the rtx uh, super models or ti models whatever they will call it would they bring any performance bump to the table or just like a VRAM bump? Like for example, RTX 3080 Super or TI, would it be faster, like 20% or will we just see, you know, um, just like a VRAM bump 16 gigs or 20 gigs? And there's that. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And that's it. If you like that video, press on that like button and don't forget to check out the links where I got the information from. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.